Hi, I'm Josh. I'm Nicole, and this is Kovu. And this is our van. It's a Dodge Ram ProMaster, and we named her Smooth Operator. So to start out the tour, uh, we have our swivel seats. We use these pretty frequently, almost every day. Um, this specifically is my desk space, so I can just plug in my stuff right there. We hook up our Wi-Fi, and that's where I like to work. Um, but we love the swivel seats. They just open up the whole space. We can have guests and still be eight feet away from each other. So yeah, we really love that. <laughs> this was just an extra space. Um, it was just a wood panel wall, but we actually just bought a uh, shoe thing at Walmart, I'm pretty sure, or something like that, and then put that in. So it's great to get all our shoes off the floor and just kind of have it out of the way. I do most of the cooking. So this is my stove. It's actually propane powered. So we have the propane underneath here, and then we also have another one for our furnace. So if this runs out or the other one runs out, we can actually swap them. But we make coffee every day. I've got my kettle up there, um, and then we have a French press. And then, yeah, I'm usually using both burners when I'm cooking. So it's great to have both. So this side kind of has our, our kettle, our cutting board, and then just random other canned stuff, basically. And then this is kind of our bathroom. So we have our little bathroom bags, which are easily packable if we need to go anywhere. And then this is kind of our library, but yeah, it's kind of a catch-all, but <laughs> it works. So when you first walk in, you'll see this backsplash, which we love. Um, it's not actually real tile, it's just like a stick on, but I think it makes it look really nice having that in here. So this is one of our few additions, the mirror, which I felt like I needed. We both were kind of fighting over the rear view mirror for a while, but that works great. Um, this is our gear locker, since we're both photographers. So Josh's backpack and my backpack, and then we kind of printed some of our favorite pictures that we've had other photographers do. And yeah, that we like our little memories. Um, quick grab cameras. Um, so yeah, kind of a great little spot. And then we have our fridge, which is very empty right now. We're going to go grocery shopping pretty soon, but this is usually full of all fresh stuff. Um, we have to fill up pretty much every two or three days and then we eat through it all. So it's great. We never waste anything <laughs> above our cab. Um, it's just kind of extra storage. So we have our yoga mats. That's where we get all our showers. We go like once every week or two for yoga. We have our Wi-Fi, and then I've got like my hat and gloves and then extra coats. Josh likes it when I don't put it on the back of the seat, so this keeps it out of view, which is pretty nice. So this fan is really the only air conditioning that we have. Um, it just kind of opens and then we can turn it on. We can make it go fast or slow. It pulls air in or takes it out. And then we can even set it so that it's auto 78 degrees in here, which it seems to maintain pretty well. Our furnace is below the fridge. Um, we just have this little thermostat that we can set and we can um, pick how warm we want it in here. We actually didn't know it came with a furnace until we bought it. And <laughs> I've never had a furnace in a van and it's a game changer. It's basically like a home having a furnace in it. <laughs> our dining area actually converts into a bed. Um, we just put all our blankets and stuff underneath here. So we have a whole cupboard that we can just pull everything out of. So Josh's grandma actually made both of these quilts. Um, we got to pick out all the little patches and then she sewed it together with love but keeps us really warm at night. <laughs> so the first night we slept in the van, we found out that these stars actually glow. <laughs> we were really surprised to learn that, <laughs> but we love that little feature of this blanket. So we got our van in September, um, started in Michigan and did the whole East Coast and then went back up to Michigan actually to pick up Kovu um, because she was of age to get her. And then we went out West and we've just kind of been mostly hanging around California, Arizona and Nevada. Um, and we'll head back to Michigan here pretty soon now. Our photography season is going to be starting. So yeah. <laughs> And we're both full-time photographers. Uh, Nicole likes to photograph a lot of weddings and I prefer families. And uh, we shoot in northern Michigan for uh, the warmer months from May <laughs> to October. And then for the other half of the year, we kind of migrate to warmer climates. I'm not a fan of snow or <laughs> cold. <laughs> so yeah, we pretty much have our super busy season from May through October. And that's when we're in Michigan. And then 
November through April, we are out west mostly, but basically anywhere but Michigan. <laughs> <laughs> Kobu, it's not all about you. It's not, it's not all about you. So before I was on the road, I was an elementary teacher, and now I photograph families. So I, I've been on the road for a few years. This is my third mobile setup. You've been on the road for a while too. Yep. Also third mobile setup. <laughs> <laughs> and you photograph like couples. Yeah, so I've been shooting weddings for 10 years. My first wedding was basically straight out of high school and I really enjoy basically anything involving love. I think it's really fun to shoot couples. Um, so yeah, weddings, elopements, engagements, proposals, anything involving love is my favorite. So, and portraits, portraits are fun too. So this is our sink and we have a nice big sink which was important for Nicole um, and I have uh, a, a long shower head uh, that we can use outside if we want for showers but um, so it, it uh, has that spray feature and then uh, we have a nice side table here for when we put our dishes down um, and then here's our, our little dimmer switch controlling the lights. And in here we have our water system. We can access it from outside or inside and we have three tubs. So we have, uh, this uh, is our tub that uh, we're currently using and you can just feel it by the weight. This is our reserve and our gray water. And what I love about this is for $1.50 you can get filtered water um, and, and uh, it's really easy. This is one of my favorite drawers. It carries all of our spices and vitamins and that sort of stuff. And it keeps it from spilling. And then uh, we have all of our kitchen kind of items and food in here. And this is our one drawer in the whole van. And up here we have our clothes. So this is my clothes. And uh, this is actually 100% of the clothes I own. And over here we have Nicole's clothes. Uh, you can see she's a much neater than I am. But the difference is this is only 10% of her clothes. She has a rotating closet back home. So... <laughs> And this is our workspace. Uh, I call this uh, our magic table. I what I love about it is you can just move it out of the way really easily. Uh, and my personal favorite is to take these cushions and put them in this corner right here. And then I take this table and can uh, work right here. It's nice and comfy. So, but yeah, you can move it any direction. And then um, at the end of the day, we take this table and we move it down and it becomes our bed, which is uh, about a queen size bed. And this is Kovu's space here. We have Kovu's bed and we just have a baby gate for now. We might get something custom later on. But uh, yeah, so this is where we keep her crated. So this is our composting toilet and this was a must for me when um, I had Happy People Vans build our camper. Um, I have had a black tank before and uh, I love the composting toilet. It's been great for us. Um, it's really easy. There's just a motor outside that constantly funnels the odor outside and it only ever smells like peat moss. It's really simple to use. Um, and it, there's just a diverter where the urine goes and then where your poop goes and you just wind it up, turn it up at the end and then you just put it away and it's out of sight. I love it. I have always wanted to live on the road. Uh, I think it's just a lot easier because you can just wake up and be in a beautiful location. You just open your door and you're always in a new location. Mm -hmm. I grew up in a really small town, so basically as soon as I could leave, I wanted to be anywhere that wasn't there. So I left for Australia and nannied out there actually for seven months. And then ever since then, I just didn't want to stop. So every winter I would leave. Basically, if the snow starts flying, I'm out of Michigan. <laughs> like, I'm not sticking around for it. So I feel like it just fits with our lifestyle. So we're both photographers, which works out really well. I like to travel anyways. So it's like we can work from the van and then I'm able to do basically other gigs on the road because we're already there. It just makes opportunities just kind of present themselves because we're already mobile living. <laughs> 
Well, this is kind of uh, a way of meeting my retirement and savings goals. So, you know, previously I've owned two homes and I have no desire personally to own a home in the immediate future. Uh, I'd hope to be in this rig at least another five to 10 years. Mm -hmm. So. I have a five to 10 year house goal, but I really like the van and I don't want to get rid of the van. So it's kind of like, I'd like to have a hookup and Airbnb out the house that hypothetically we would buy, <laughs> but no yeah. commitments, no, <laughs> just big dreams. Uh, it's a 2019 Dodge Ram ProMaster, and uh, we put uh, 16,000 miles. It has 32,000 miles on it now. We have 500 watts of solar panels up top and three AGM batteries in the back, which is enough to power us for a whole day of computer work. We went with the extended length and height for this van because we wanted a lot of standing room. And uh, a big reason for that was also because I also do yoga, and uh, we have just enough room on the floor to lay down a yoga mat. Okay, this is the back of our van, our garage. Uh, these doors are really nice, they open up all the way. Um, I did attach a little clothesline here to hang our clothes, which is nice, comes in handy. Here's my unicycle, and my Chinese yo-yo Diabolo here. Do a little circus performing sometimes. This is, this is our Yeti cooler, which comes in handy. Uh, and then we have our our uh, inverter, Renegy inverter, and our solar charge controller here. Three AGM batteries, more than enough power for everything, and we have an extension cord just in case we need to plug in. We also have some peat moss and a Bluetooth connection so we can connect with our cell phone and, and see uh, how much power we're using. And that's our garage. Well, thanks for checking out our van tour of the Smooth Operator van, built by Happy People Vans. We are actually build number six, so if you want to see it basically gutted out until completion, um, you can feel free to check it out on their Instagram. Uh, you can also follow us, so I'm Nicole Jerry, uh, G-E-R-I, and then Nicole Jerry Photography, and then... I'm Hartman Travels, Josh Hartman Photography. And Kovu, Kovu, come give me a kiss. Give me a kiss. We come. said we were not going to do an Instagram for our dog, but <laughs> we have an Instagram for her. Welcome. So. Kovu the van dog, if you <laughs> would like to follow her. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Kovu the van dog. <laughs>